So you want to learn how to set up a budget recording studio. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about exactly how to do so. And make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video for a special giveaway and you could be the winner. What's poppin' music gang? If you want to learn more about music production, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's just go ahead and jump into it real quick. How do you set up a budget recording studio? Mainly the tools that you really want to use are cheap items. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to like get expensive tools. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to go out and buy the latest and greatest even though that'll help you more often than, you know, uh, cheaper stuff, you know what I'm saying? But you can still get great quality out of cheap gear, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna show you that with this exact video. Let's just go ahead and jump into it real quick. So, um, how do you set up a budget recording booth? So let me go ahead and show you what I have set up right now, and I'm actually not even done. So I'm just gonna show you exactly what I did to it and what you can do to it as well. And everything I pretty much used were cheap items. And if you don't even have some of the items that I have, you can find cheaper items than what I'm using. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so this is my recording booth. You know what I'm saying? That's a picture of future. I actually paid for that, you know what I'm saying? Because I really want to see like what it's like buying this merch. And that was actually one of his best albums, in my opinion, The Wizard. They actually sent me the songs. I wanted to use that to like, you know, reference my mixes and stuff like that. But I'll get into that in a whole nother video. If you want to see that, let me know. But these right here, I got those for free. Somebody was actually moving out my apartment complex and they needed to get rid of those. You know what I'm saying? So I took as much as I could. So I got those for free i stuck those on the door i could not use any other way to stick these on the door but tape this door the, the material was just way too hard and um literally I, I i could not get that on there so tape was the best option and it works so if you have any of these or you know someone that's giving those away literally run to wherever they are you know what i'm saying they might be like uh an hour away and they might be like they might be like oh i gotta give these away run to get those inside the booth i basically got like cloth all around i literally stuck those on the wall i basically used the safety pin to stick these on the wall and it really worked same thing with the acoustic treatment and stuff like that and don't worry about this i actually need to cover that up and i'm going to use that right there and this is basically a chair you know what i'm saying my neumann tlm 103 sitting over there nice and comfortable expensive as hell um i'm gonna show you how to set up the whole budget recording studio basically this is not really that hard and literally like like this right here will, will rival uh, expensive recording setup. This basic closet right here. And let me just go ahead and pull up in there. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and go inside and just show you the sound difference. So let me just go ahead and close this. You hear you hear what I sound like right now, you know what I'm saying? Just show you real quick. This is what I sound like. The, these walls aren't treated yet. I will treat these walls as soon as I uh, get some like foam or whatever, the big rectangle foams, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put those on the wall as soon as I get those. But, um. But then I would defeat the purpose. But th look, this you, you hear the sound difference. This is a whole different setup right here. You know what I'm saying? A real cheap setup. I really didn't spend any money on uh, doing this stuff. I mean, I'll link all the stuff like, you know, the thumbtacks and stuff, all that. So like I was saying, I'll link all the thumbtacks in there. You know what I'm saying? And look, I just put a light in here real quick so you can, you know, see it gets kind of dark. But uh, yeah, you know, it's a real basic setup. really not hard to set up i put it like a little phone holder things right here so like say like i wrote some bars which i actually did and i put a music video at the end of this uh just to show you what it what this booth sounds like i put my phone right inside of here just so i can read the bars as i'm recording into this expensive ass microphone so now i want to cover this up right here and what i'm going to do is go ahead and just do that real quick and just watch me fill this up i'm just going to show you what it looks like when i'm when i'm done and let's do that right now All right, you guys, so I got that um, put up there. It looks a little bit better, but like I said, um, don't expect it to be perfect, especially when you're on a budget. If you got a closet if you, and you can walk in there, you can use that as a booth. Clean that closet out as much as you can. Fun fact about this poster here, when I bought this uh, merch from Future, they actually sent me the MP3s, not the iTunes version of the album. I got the MP3, so they sent it to me. Literally all the songs on the album are actually clipping. All the songs from your favorite artists are all clipping. Like I said, if you wanna get to more videos on like uh, mixing and mastering, you know what I'm saying, let me know in the comments i'll do that for you guys but next thing you want to do pretty much is plug everything in my microphone isn't plugged in right now and literally is not that hard you know what i'm saying plug that in right there boom it's kind of hard to do this with one hand boom 
So that's plugged in. Next thing you know, plug plug this into your interface. Here's my cord right here, it's super long. So uh, pause, it's long enough to go all the way over there to my interface, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so basically this is my, my home studio budget setup. These are my speakers, Yamaha HS8, one of the greatest speakers in my opinion. Uh, cost a little bit of money though, but uh, I love them. I, I heard them in big studios, little studios, and I, I haven't had any issues with them ever. Ra this is my computer, Razor Blade computer, if you don't know that already. My interface, Universal Audio Aero, I love it, don't have to plug it into the wall, straight into the computer, easy. But now let's just plug in the microphone cable, which is a, this is a three pin XLR, I believe. And uh, yeah, let's just plug this in real quick. You can see it, boom, let's go. Whenever you're plugging in a condenser microphone, make sure your phantom power is not on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I just plugged in my microphone uh, just now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in. I'm just gonna go ahead and push phantom power, and now my phantom power is on. So now I can receive sound and stuff like that. Oops, actually, it was the wrong one. All right, there we go, channel one. I plugged this in channel one. I was just on channel two, I thought that was my, but let's plug it in channel one, which is already in there. Phantom power is on, boom. So now I can get a signal. Woo, woo! You can hear it, see I'm, I'm yelling now. My, my microphone's picking it up. It's all the way in a whole nother room. Let's turn it up. Woo! Woo! You hear that? All right, bet. The next thing we pretty much need to do at this point is we need to make sure our program is picking up the audio, that all the uh, settings are picking up on the programs that I'm using. And I'll just try out, you know, I'll do this in FL Studio and then I'll do this in Pro Tools real quick, just so you guys understand how to set this up real quick. All right, let's get it. So I'm in FL Studio right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to uh, make sure your mic is inserted, all that kind of stuff. And um, to get your actual signal from into FL Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into uh, audio settings and then boom, click right here. This is where your interface should be uh, should be at. Right now I'm using Universal Audio. So that's where exactly I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. But if you're using a different interface, make sure you choose your exact interface. If you're having issues with that, you could try this one right here, uh, FL Studio ASIO for All, which pretty much works 95% of the time, uh, unlike the other options. So you can choose that. Make sure you go to input, choose your microphone, boom. I mean, choose your interface. Same thing with the output, choose your interface, boom. Um, but me personally, I just like to go straight to the audio source and go straight to the actual interface that I'm using. Listen to me, this right here is your mixer channel. Click that right there, boom. So when you click this button right here, your mixer will pop up. And you know, you can click on a free channel right here where there's nothing on it. And right here will be your input. So you can click that. If you click on this and, it, and another page pops up, then it probably wasn't set up right. So when you click on this and you see this menu, you probably have things set up right. So uh, my microphone is plugged into the first channel so let's go to input one click on that boom and as you can see it's picking up my microphone right now and um basically i can just throw on some you know compression throw some eq then boom i got a i got a vocal channel right here in fl studio so let's jump into pro tools real quick and show you exactly how to do the same thing okay so now i'm in fl studio if you have a free if, if you have a template and you know what I'm saying, you can upload that template. Um, I think I have one on my website. So link in the description if I do, if I don't, I'll let you, let me know if you want me to make one. Uh, but I think I do. So uh, just go ahead and go to create, create your uh, your session. Here go the settings right here. Personally, I like to keep it on 24, uh, only because 24 bit and 32, you know, you have different mixing and voluming settings. You know what I'm saying? I personally don't like 32 like that, even though it might be a little bit better in quality, I don't like it. Uh, a lot of industry uh, mixers and producers and uh, editors or whatever, they always use 16 or 24. So go ahead and do that. Just go ahead and just use 44.1, you know what I'm saying? If you, all these other ones might are higher quality, but you might have issues when you import audios and stuff like that, because most of the time, like beats and or audio files are already 44.1, and they're not really all, all the way up to uh, up here, you know what I'm saying? So just go ahead and do 44.1, go ahead and create it, boom. Okay, so when you pull up Pro Tools, it'll have, you'll basically have a blank session unless you have a template. Go to Setup, go to Playback, and then make sure you choose your interface. This is my interface, the Universal Audio Thunderbolt, boom. If you have a Universal Audio, when you go right here, you can't really change these settings unless you go to your actual console 
and change these exact settings, which I'm not gonna do right now, but you can do that. And boom, just make sure all that's plugged in and then go to track and create new. Make sure it's a model track, okay? So click on model, boom, open up your model track and then go to input right here. This is your input and output. So right here is your input, make sure it's on number one. And as you can see, every time I'm yelling, it's pulling up me right now and the boots is all the way back there somewhere. The microphone is picking me up, so it's working. Hopefully this helps you. Make sure you set this up for yourself and make great music. And quick question guys, have you guys set up your own recording studio yet? Are you still thinking about it? Um, have you even got that far? Are you thinking about getting a microphone? Let me know down in the comments. I wanna know, I'm very interested in to helping you and setting up your own personal recording studio. And mine's was just a quick setup, you know what I'm saying? Um, using this at a house, you know, I can definitely get high quality sound just from making sure that uh, I don't have a lot of echo going on in the booth. That's basically what this is for. You know, when you're speaking and you're rapping or you're singing, uh, you don't want your vocals to be bouncing back and forth all the walls and then back into the microphone, you know what I'm saying? This little thing right here, I got this, uh, I forgot the name of it, I think it's, uh, this is the name right here, if you can't look. So if you wanna get one of these, make sure you look up this thing right here. I love this, it's like, I think it's like $40, you know what I'm saying? You could get the um, Chaotic Eyeball, but I think that's like $200 or something, I can't remember the price. I really hope this helps you create your own recording studio and believe in yourself. Believe in yourself how they believe in God and churches. If you put in that same effort and that same belief system into yourself, you'll get a lot farther than just thinking that, oh, I'll, I'll try to do it or I'll think about doing it. Don't think, don't even think about trying or when you're gonna do it, just start now. Start as soon as possible. Next thing you know, you'll be thinking, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be perfect. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to figure out every single little thing. Being a perfectionist will be one of the quickest ways to slowing you down. Next thing you know, it's a year later and you still haven't started anything. And I'm so, I've literally sold you right here. I've used these blankets all over the walls to, to uh, have my own recording studio. Now I can start recording songs and stuff like that. I don't need to spend a huge budget on making, making a song and I can just quickly get it all done. You can do the same as long as you just get started. That's all it takes, just get started. Thank you for watching the video. Hey, if you made it this far, I'm giving away five copies of Omnisphere, which is a great program for music producers and creators just like yourself. If you want this program, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and comment down below. What type of computer do you have right now? Are you using a, a razor blade? Are you using an HP laptop? Let me know down in the comments. I will be announcing the giveaway winner very soon, probably like this week. So let me know if you wanna enter that giveaway. You may potentially get your copy on a $500 program, which is Omnisphere. I love this program, man. I, I use this almost all, all the time when I'm making beats. But thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace. She take Molly and turn to an animal I feel like they watching and listening They dying from drugs and the sickness They faking, they phony, they fidgety Don't want to be in that predicament Spread out the money like milk I want a hoe that won't post These niggas just mad cause I post I see you fake my disposed I see the faking and hating you 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 I feel like
Feel like they watching and listening. They dying from drugs and the sickness. They figuring they phony, they fidgeting. Don't wanna be in that predicament. You a bitch, I'm not up for debate on it. Fuck you, don't need to take on it. Cash me a check, you gon' hate on it. You said you was real, you put fake on it. You full of shit with your claim on it. When I find up, put the brakes on it. Pull up with muscle, put weight on it. You think it's a game, I'ma play on it. I wake up and get straight to work. They got my name in their mouth. Hired myself on these perks. These niggas be chasing the clout. These niggas working my nerve. Wisdom for shit don't deserve. Don't come with no games, you get served. Wanna hop on my way, but can't serve. I feel like they watching and listening. They dying from drugs and the sickness. They faking it phony, they fidgeting. Don't wanna be in that predicament. Spread up the money like most. I want a hard, I want post. These niggas is mad cause I post. I see you fake my exposed. I see the fake and they hate you. 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 I feel like they watching and listening. They dying from drugs and the sickness. They faking it phony, they fidgeting. Don't wanna be in that predicament.